Great. Forgive me if this has already been asked a lot of you. I've uh, just showing up. So, uh, how much different is the, the, the just the teaching process of what y'all have to learn in the offensive line as opposed to maybe you know previously? Um, well, offensive line is really just repetition after repetition, learning the new technique and the new offensive scheme. So that's really all we're doing right now is just going back to the basics, going back to the fundamentals, getting everyone on the same page. So. Not terribly, but it's definitely a lot to learn. So that's what we're going through right now. But everyone's picking it up pretty quickly. So I'm excited. Let's go left side to Robert Sessa from the Eagle. I know, just try, I know it's early, but anything different about this spring? And I mean, I know you've got a new coach and everything, but you just it's a different feel. Any, you got so many new guys. Just tell us what's, what might be different about this spring so far. Right, there's a lot more competition with new guys here, and we're learning what it's like to win again, learning going back to the basics of the turnover battle, special teams, and football IQ, knowing down and distance. So we're going to know what winning football likes at every stage of the game. Let's go back to the back to Ben Peck from KAGT. Uh, Trey, kind of going off of that, Coach uh, talked about how he was going to be very deliberate about uh, not just competition, but you know, guys playing with each other in all sorts of different combinations. Just what's that been like maybe? I don't know, more than normal, but kind of just establishing that chemistry within, you know, all these different groups on the line. Right, yeah, everyone's moving around. Everyone's playing multiple positions, tackle, center guard, every position. Everyone's learning how to snap. So, yeah, there's a bunch of different combinations right now. You're playing against, uh, playing next to a guy, a different guy every single day. So uh, we're really just kind of learning, like, the schemes and the technique right now. So we're not really building that. We're kind of building chemistry with everyone at the moment. So it's kind of. Going well. Let's go back to Robert Sesson on your left. I know you guys got new weight people as well. So let, let's take your situation. I guess they got individual things that you should do or whatever, things you're trying to do. What, what are you trying to do to get better in regards to that that maybe you weren't doing last fall or last spring? Yeah, me personally, I'm trying to work on my speed and my strength at the same time, which, you know, everyone's always trying to do. But I'm really trying to focus on, like, my stability and my uh, – we call it my my leverage, getting leverage on people in the run game. So they're really helping out with that. Do you do different weight stuff and stuff like that, or is it like the same? Uh, it's pretty similar, but we're doing a lot more uh, like Olympic lifts and overhead stuff. So working on shoulder strength and stability. Yep. Let's stay on the left side with Luke, and then we'll go to Olin Carter. Trey, you can kind of talk about the learning process under Coach Cushing and what that has been, and kind of what uh, getting acclimated to him has been like. Um, yeah, I love Coach Cushing. He's a great teacher. He knows the game. He knows everything. So I um, always like asking questions, but he's a really great teacher. He really goes in depth. He doesn't just kind of go over it quickly. He'll teach you what you need to know, and he'll focus on something until everyone knows it. So Right here in the middle, Owen. Yeah, that's right. Um, so we've always heard so much of, the, of offensive line play is a, um, a cohesion, cohesiveness and, and all those things. So I get your – a lot of changes now and figuring out who you got and what, who can do what. So how long in, as an offensive lineman, in your opinion, does it, does it take to, to build that kind of cohesion? Uh, well, it really depends because I'd probably say there's no real set number. It really just is as long as it takes. So right now we're just trying to figure out who the five best are, who the best seven are, who can play in the game. So we're going to figure that out, and then we'll start building that cohesive once we know who those guys so are. So when you figure that out, though, like you could get all – you think you could – to get that uh, feeling of cohesion together like in August. Right, of course. That's enough, that's enough time. Yeah, that will be enough. Yes, sir. More than enough. Let's go to the right side to Carter from Gigum 247. Hey, Trey, uh, just wanted to ask you about – I'm almost comparing to last year where you were, where you weren't even available for the spring. You were coming off a lot of injuries, and now – having a full, healthy season, just what difference does that do, do for you? And what do you think a, having a full, healthy off season could do for you? Right. Yeah, I love being healthy. Uh, it feels good. Uh, yeah, practicing when nothing hurts is really fun. You get to really work on, like, minute details and fundamentals. You're not just kind of grinding through some pain. So I feel like I have an opportunity to get a lot better this off season this spring. I think you guys have 11 offensive linemen who have started multiple games in your in your career just – what does that do, having that much experience in a room? And what have you seen from the new transfers as well? 
experience from yeah, that room. Yeah, much experience is great because learning the new offense, it makes it a lot easier because once you've been around the block a couple times, it's pretty easy to pick up offenses because they're kind of similar to each other. So, yeah, learning the new offense is going great, and the experience is awesome because you can kind of learn things from new people even though like they come from different programs. You can learn from each other still. So Let's go down front to Travis Brown from the Eagle. Dre, a lot of a lot of early talk about kind of the the discipline that that uh, Coach Elko brings. H how have you seen that kind of manifest itself in the program in the short time he's been here? Yeah, I've loved that because everyone's doing what they need to do now, and there's no real like room for kind of who's doing what, who's doing what. Like if you're, they're kind of letting some not letting the stuff slide last year, but now we're really strict on that. So I like that because everyone's doing the right thing, and it's showing up in football too because. How you do anything is how you do everything. So, all right, looks like that might be it. Perfect. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you.